We now come to our prayer time and this is where we're given two or three um, subjects to focus our prayers. Uh, but feel free to branch out into other areas of concern that you want to pray about. You can pray on your own or with others that are with you right now. Here are the points for today and they'll come up on the screen too. Firstly, thank Jesus that he understands the difficulties that we experience in this world because he came into the world as an ordinary human being. Secondly, pray for people who are in danger or, un or unable to survive in their home countries. Pray about the situations they find themselves in and that the world will treat them all with compassion. If you can't decide who shall start the prayer, I'll give you a hand. It should be the person who is wearing or is the closest to something that is red. So pause the video for a couple of minutes to pray and then I'll see you when you come back. Here's a conversation starter to help us to go deeper on some of the issues raised today. Firstly, discuss what sort of things might make people become refugees. Secondly, have a look at the City of Sanctuary or the ICN websites that Alison referred to in her talk to learn more about refugees that come here to this country and what's, what can be done to help them. The web addresses will be up on the screen. I'm going to finish by reading a short poem. You know, God's way of looking at things can be completely different from ours. He can turn our thinking and our perspective completely upside down to the way that actually he sees it. I'm going to read the poem through once. I find it particularly interesting and challenging this. You read it through once. When I get to the end, I'm going to pause just for a moment and I'm going to read it again, but this time starting with the bottom line and reading it back to the top. Refugees. They have no need of our help. So do not tell me these haggard faces could belong to you or me should life have dealt a different hand. We need to see them for who they really are. Chancers, scroungers, layabouts and loungers with bombs up their sleeves. Cutthroats and thieves. They're not welcome here. We should make them go back to where they came from. They cannot share our food, share our homes, share our countries. Instead, let us build a wall to keep them out. It's not okay to say these people are just like us. A place should only belong to those who are born there. Do not be so stupid to think that the world can be looked at another way. The world can be looked at another way. Do not be so stupid to think that a place should only belong to those who are born there. These are people just like us. It is not okay to say, build a wall to keep them out. Instead, let us share our countries, share our homes, share our food. They cannot go back to where they came from. We should make them welcome here. They're not cutthroats and thieves with bombs up their sleeves, layabouts and loungers, chancers and scroungers. We need to see them for who they really are. Should life have dealt a different hand, these haggard faces could belong to you or me. So do not tell me they have no need of our help. Well, thank you for joining us today and I hope you have a great week ahead.
look forward to coming together again next week.